We are live in the e-kitchen today, y'all, and on the docket, we are making salmon croquettes. Now, let's get into it. Okay, so we are going to give you a rundown of the ingredients, and then we'll mix everything together, and we will get this party started, okay? So, over here on the cutting board, we have some arugula. We have some sweet onions, some yellow and red bell peppers. We have three cans of uh, salmon here, one cup of mayonnaise, some pepper, some garlic pepper, some complete seasoning, um, some Joe's hot stuff. This is gonna give it a little kick and some color. And then the last thing we have is um, our Japanese style panko breadcrumbs. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is add some extra virgin olive oil to our pan. Uh, this is the brand that we use and it's from World Market. We're gonna let that heat up and then we're going to add in our red bell pepper, our yellow bell pepper, and our sweet onion. Okay, so in the meantime, while our veggies are cooking on the stove, we're gonna mix all of our ingredients in our main bowl. So the first thing we're gonna start with is the complete seasoning by Badia. We don't use measurements. <laughs> we're just going to do what we feel is right. This is the garlic pepper, also by Badia. We're gonna add in some black pepper. And for me, I tend to go with the color. So once the color looks right to me, I stop. It is Joe's Hot Stuff. I love this stuff, y'all. Um, if you want to look it up, you can look it up online. I, I think I can provide a link in the description box, so that's what I'll do. Um, three tablespoons of mayo. I'll do three and a half. And then I'm gonna add in two eggs, which I forgot to show you guys. Add that in. I'm gonna add in our arugula. Just save a little bit of that for the top. Gonna we'll check on our vegetables and be right back. I don't wanna cook the vegetables too long. I'm gonna dump this in our pot, our bowl with our mixture. I'm gonna add in some breadcrumbs. And these are actually panko breadcrumbs. And it'll just help you kind of um, bind your patties together. You just wanna mix everything together. And the main thing you're looking for is just consistency. So if they're not binding together, you may need to um, add some additional mayo. Um, just need to check it out and see. So we're gonna keep mixing and we'll see uh, if we need to add anything. Now you can't taste it. You have raw eggs um, in here, so you don't want to taste it. That's why it's important to look at the color and kind of know uh, what you want the color to look like. I am going to add in some more Joe's hot stuff just for color purposes. I think I'm gonna add in a little bit more mayo.
And then what I like to do is cover it up and put it in the refrigerator. Maybe for half an hour would be ideal, but I mean, if you don't have that time, just to kind of let it cool down. I'm pressing it down just to see how good it's gonna combine together. Add in just a little more of the breadcrumbs. And like I say, you'll have to really practice and then you can kind of just eyeball, you know, what's good, what's not good, what you need to add. So I think we are good here. I'm going to cover it up, put it in the refrigerator, and then we'll be back to cook. y'all we are back we have taken our salmon out of the refrigerator so we have that here and then what I did was I put a little bit of flour um, in a container just so I can coat the top and the bottom of the salmon cake okay a handful of salmon here sprinkle a little bit of flour on both sides Sit it down. Just that simple. I'll show you one more time. You don't want to make them too big, but you don't want to make them too small either. So, handful of salmon. Sprinkle a little flour. Try to help them kind of bind together. Make sure you sprinkle both sides, pat it down. It's gonna get a little messy. And that's it. 